Good morning, afternoon or evening ladies and gents. And here we have a game of 0 AD and my opponent here um, is playing as the Gauls and I am playing as the Romans. And we see that there is a considerable rating gap uh, between myself and my opponent not invented here. But we'll see how my opponent uses an interesting strategy to overcome that and to completely surprise me. Um, what he has done is just put his starting units to work and he is directly starting to train cavalry. And I am doing a more standard approach. I have been um, building the farmstead. I have been I do the berry upgrade. I'm placing a storehouse and you will see that after that I will place a house to prevent uh, being pop cut. And my opponent is currently at the population because that will be trained slower than uh, women. And I am mainly training women at the moment. I was planning to do a cavalry rush. Um, and then we will see how it goes. Because yes, my yes. opponent is already yes, coming towards me, towards me with five cavalry. He's making three houses, three women, yes, and yes, he's yes. also making uh, two more cavalry. I'll, I'll be yes, sending yes. two more cavalry towards me. Yes, These five yes. have nearly arrived, and I think yes, I spot these yes. fairly early. And indeed, I start to build the tower. Um, I fight with my men, yes, I send see? my cavalry towards him, but it is all not enough, and yeah, and also those extra two cavalry yes, are coming around here, um, while I'm just yes, too focused on this area and hoping that I can uh, garrison the swordsman in the tower for extra arrow fire, which does not happen. I also see that there are more cavalry yes, um, killing women here. And I'm down to 11 population. And yeah. Yes, see? Um, that's pretty much the game. Um, my, I'm at 11 population and my opponent is at 21. And I resign because I know if you are at 11 at 11 population after two and a half minutes, um, you're pretty much dead. Um, so that's an interesting strategy, and it is super aggressive. And uh, what yeah, could yeah. I, what could I have done uh, yeah. better to defend against this? And that comes down to strategy, because if you spend your wood uh, this way on a farmstead, the berry technology and then build a storehouse and build a house you do not have enough wood uh, for, to also train a lot of men to yeah, defend against an incoming rush yeah, such as this and I also try to do such a rush myself and see if it can be done because yeah, I knew after the game that when I looked at this economy, um, only 10 women, so I know I, I knew he did really sacrifice his own economy. Um, I, I have trained much more women than he has. Um, yeah. I'll take a look at uh, those 10 women. Oh, uh, well, there were 30, 40 women, and four were just uh, standing here. Um, all Oh, it wasn't the best execution because these women yeah. shouldn't have been walking towards here. And also, this, uh, this storehouse was relatively late. Um, but I tried if a better execution would be possible. Um, we see that it comes to unit strength, it's very equal. But that's mainly because um, in the end, I completely um, do not have the food to make any more units. 
uh, that's the point where we seems to be catching it. So I also tried this uh, strategy myself against a good weighted player against CL. Mm, uh, this is my perspective, and I take the Britons for this um, because the Britons conveniently start with a Wardog, and my opponent is the Spartans, and uh, his name is CL2488. Uh, and Spartans yeah, you can defend against the Bush a little better than you know, generic Red in the Civilization. Yeah, because see? their spearmen have a little more HP and also their women, women have a little more HP and that will be make impactful because a woman now needs three yeah. hits of a javelin cavalry to die so um, I do take it a little more slow a little more slowly than my opponent because I start with the farmstead, I start with the storehouse, I yeah, do not immediately start for cavalry production. I produced four women before I started the cavalry production. Um, um, my opponent was lucky to directly run into my wood line, so that really gave him an advantage um, yeah, but I want to create my own look so I already sent one cavalry forward for scouting and the remaining yeah, three see? will kill a sheep and bring some food back until my full cavalry force is ready um, in this case it would be nice to have a farmstead here if you are um, if you are hunting out there, however, um, yeah, yeah, these yeah, hunts won't be hunting for too long. And there yeah, yeah, be my, the remaining cavalry are, and I start to train women. Um, I've always yeah, sent see? this unit for scouting here, and I haven't really found where my opponent is gathering wood, and now I do. Yeah, see? And yeah. My cavalry force yeah, consists of six cavalry, yeah, three, and that is seven Jonathan and the water. Yeah, and what does my opponent do? Uh, my opponent did a fairly comparable build as I did last time, and my opponent is just as eager as I was to fight. And in addition to what I did last time, he also built some extra farmstead, and this farmstead does not help him with defense um, so yeah yeah see? that means my opponent is um, in trouble and you see that he's already falling for population behind plus he is not really guarding wood efficiently yeah, see? Yeah, um, see? this is the wood that is pretty close to the CC but these trees are only 50 Wood and they will run out soon. Um, I will kill some units here, I think. Um, I think I killed uh, an extra. I don't think I killed an extra. I don't see a body lying here. Um, yeah, see? Yeah, and then see? I see a yeah, see? of my opponent. My opponent sees that I'm hunting him. Yeah, see? And yeah, I think he's trying to loop around this mountain and hopes that I'm chasing him around the mountain and try to return to the Rocks of CC. Um, yeah, here see? comes another reinforcement cavalry. Yeah, see? And again, yeah, see? I am yeah, see? taking shots at the opposing cavalry yeah, and getting another kill. Um, these cavalry yeah, bring the food back to the CC. Yeah, see? And I'm capturing the storehouse in order to keep his wood collection inefficient. Um, I could also capture the farmstead, but my idea was if he wants to use the farmstead, he needs to send units out there, and women are especially vulnerable once they are here. So 
um, it would be okay to me if he would ever in the future decide to send women here. Um, this house is not in range of the CC, yeah, so I'm also taking it. Uh, and I know houses are 150 wood, which is yeah, fairly much. And I've also destroyed this farm here, um, which is another 100 wood. Uh, which means 100 wood is um, the amount which you need to upgrade to of your women to yeah, a man, is the way I view it, because a man costs. So instead of a woman, you would then train two men. And this is something um, where he counter attacks yeah, me. And I think, yeah, he gets five kills. Um, in the meantime, he has not been able to build any more houses because, no, I just pushed him upwards. Um, and he also needed to build farms for his production. Four farms is more than he needs to keep his CC running. So that means that that's essentially 200 food wasted and some time he spends building um, them and carving from them. Well, carving doesn't need to be a waste of time. Um, and again, I get one or two kills here, and maybe a third. Um, and currently, we have now similar numbers of cavalry. And yeah, exactly the same numbers of cavalry. When it comes to damage, uh, we both have a number of damage cavalry among us. This one is not participating in the fight, and the dog is also late to participate. Um, for some reason, I am getting better end in this fight. And yeah, after this, he realizes, um, yeah, what is he gonna do next? Because um, it will be difficult for him to train um, enough. Infantry of cavalry to push me away, and yeah, he asked me what my population is, and then we look at, at my side. Um, there is something I would like to notice, mention, and that is I I've also built four farms, and again that's also more than you would need um, to keep one CC running. So it would have been better to just produce 3 cc and then use the 100 wood that you save by not building the floor farm uh, to create 5 slingers. And those 5 slingers could have been very helpful in resisting the rush that happened earlier. Um, and that's also one advantage of having slingers because um, the if we just look at my stone count, well, I could have, I have used my stone to produce slingers, and um, my opponent has, has been unable to use his stone, and using your resources is good. So, it was a quick game, and yeah, I think um, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's nice to see that you can also play 0 AD in round yeah, 3 ones yeah. hyper aggressively and just uh, forego the farm set and yeah collecting all your berries is of course ni nice um, but yeah um, my opponent asked me about my population then he saw from yeah it's probably very difficult to catch up and that would be easily a correct conclusion um, if we look to unit strength, we see that I have been able to train more units than my opponent and I have also been able to um, to train to kill more units than my opponent and I think that really goes to show uh, one thing and that is um, that if you do such an opening and you get cavalry like I did, or like what happened to me in the previous game, 
um, you will, you are really vulnerable to things like this. Uh, yeah, it also shows probably that um, if you want to defend against this, I think that's very much possible. Uh, you could do a strategy similar as what I did, um, but you could also decide like, hey, I prefer to chop the wood. Uh, that is close to my CC, and that way my units are also safer against rushes. And if you do so, you would also be able to defend. Um, so this what CL did was kind of the thing you would do if you want to boom, um, but it is vulnerable against these rushes. Is my conclusion. Yeah. yeah, so, well, that's it for this video, and I hope you can share your thoughts uh, in the comment section of this video.